What's up guys, how the heck are you? So I just wanted to give you guys some quick tips when you're filming video, cause I'm learning new stuff. And um, I got a chance to, to be on, I, I'm in a mastermind and there's a guy named uh, Mo McCray and he's an amazing film director. He knows, you know, he's directed some really big films and he was there speaking to us. And he gave us some tips on um, actually making video. And I wanna share some of those with you because I thought they were really freaking interesting. So. You know, one of the things that he, he mentioned, so this is if, if you make video, if you do any type of social media posts, you know, as a, as a professional, as a fitness professional, as a, as a coach, whatever you do, you, obviously you have to be on film. So one thing he told me is obviously make more video, but don't make shitty video in his words, right? So just make sure that what you put out there is going to be clean content that's going to be really valuable for your audience. So that's number one. Number two, he said, is you have to change up the depth for different type of desired actions that you want as far as your audience to see, okay? So for example, if you're far away, then what you're trying to do is you're trying to capture the environment. You're not really talking to me. This is like small head, right? And, and big environment, big big uh, things. So that's where you want to really focus on that. And then when you go medium, it's more focusing on the actions on what's happening. So if you have a fist fight going on, bam, right? Or something that's, that's where you want to capture the action and then when it's close up, guess what this is? Is this is just between you and I. Like, I wanna tell you a secret. This is something special and this is gonna gravitate your audience. So no matter what you are filming, whether it's you know far back, kind of in between or, or close up, is really cool because you could have different effects and um, which is gonna obviously have some, some cool side effects for your audience and what they're gonna be able to see from you. Also, here's another tip that you said, is you want to change up your, your cadence, right? So if you always speak at the same cadence all the time, then you want to do something different, right? So you might be really loud when you're not used to being loud, but maybe you want to be quiet. And then people can be like, oh my God, let me listen in because I'm not used to, you know, Tobias or whoever you are, you know, be quiet in there. So just some, some real quick tips that I want to throw out there. And how about one more really freaking good one? Okay, here, here's a really good one is... Um, he has actually his, his laptop and he has a, you know, some picture of, of someone that he really loves. And he says, you know what, put a picture or actually visualize somebody that gives you an electric smile, right? So it might be, you know, somebody that you have some like serious passion and serious flames. And you think back to that and you're just, all it could do is like make you kind of giddy, right? That's what some actors do. And they actually think about that when they're on the screen because it's going to captivate the audience and it's going to bring that electricity back in. So just a, a few tips in there that you can start to use when you do video. So get out there, show purpose, show power, have video, take action, and uh, let me know if you got some goods in there. Give me a like, give this a share if it was good. Take care.